It's interesting that you mention LSD and this idea of substance as altering state, because I think that's what most people think of when they hear of altered state therapy. So it's nice to hear that meditation is really working in an altered state and that you can access this on your own. But my question is more to this idea that has, as shamanism has become more popularized in contemporary culture, we're finding the use of plant medicine, like uh, psilocybin or um, peyote or ayahuasca, those kinds of things, um, becoming much more popularized. And I'm wondering what your thoughts are on that. Well, I think, of course, it's important to remember that shamans have worked with plants for millennia, and they have found a great deal of wisdom in working with plants in a particular way. The particular way is always in approaching the plant with respect and understanding that the plant has intelligence and wisdom to share. And I think that one of the things that can happen in the modern time is that people are not really approaching the plants with the amount of respect that might be needed, or they're not even recognizing that these are plants with particular kinds of intelligence. And I think if you are working with um, altered states and the substances that produce those altered states, it's important to work in the proper setting. Probably not a great idea to be in a place where there's a lot of clashing uh, experiences, angry people, that can be really traumatizing. And if you approach the plants after you have prepared the area where you're going to be working, uh, when you're going to be ingesting the plant, and if you have prepared yourself with a particular intention where you want to ask the plant for guidance on a particular issue, this is very helpful. Mm -hmm. And also, if you have a guide who understands the way that the plants work. And now we have many organizations that are recognized legally uh, and are able to use plants as part of the sacrament of their particular religious belief. And I think that this is a very good way to work for people because you're working, first of all, legally. And second of all, you're working with people who understand the plant. And one issue that you have in these organizations is that while you have the set and setting kind of brought together in an organized way, one of the things that happens is that the people who are running the circles and acting as guides with the, the plant medicines often do not understand the therapeutic side of it. Like they don't, they don't know how to help the people really process what their experience is and apply that experience to their own self-transformation self and to the therapeutic processes that are held in self-transformation. So this is where depth hypnosis really comes in in a very useful way because depth hypnosis, of course, recognizes that there's a great deal of experience beyond, beyond the conscious mind. We have many processes for helping people understand that information and that material that is behind the conscious mind or beyond the conscious mind. And so when people have these openings through working with plant medicine, depth hypnosis is right there offering understandings, offering context, offering paradigms, and helping people really integrate and digest this information that's coming through in the altered state processes of, that, are, that are produced by plants.